I see now when. Or that's a good one. this out. Double DPU. Hey everybody, this is just going to be a quick review of everything that I picked up from the train show that was in uh, Binghamton today. And uh, it was uh, because I went back the second time around, like around at 2 o'clock-ish. That way I could like, you know, see if I can talk to some people and just you know, like haggling down some deals and stuff like that. I missed some trains, so I only caught one train in between, you know, at 310. So that's what you guys would just saw, but that was today's 310. So, I'm just going to go over, like, basically what I picked up from the show. It was a lot better this time if a, as a haul, even though there was obviously less vendors, and it was it was obviously less crowded, too, at 10 o'clock when it opened up. So, uh, let's get into this bag. Obviously what it is. You know what? The scissors are right there. I don't know why they put a knot in it. Well, I probably did, but. All right. Picked up a, let's see here. Focus, no, focus. There you go. Old Concord Southern Pacific. If uh, you guys haven't uh, figured it out yet, I was a 80s West Coast kid. Grew up out then. Focus in here better. There you go. I believe those are the older style uh, solid knuckle knuckle couplers. Get my own out. Seems to be in pretty great shape for being an old Concord. Metal wheels. Got 
got some heft to it too. Southern Pacific, one, two, three, five. Nice. The safety orange is side bays. Feels great. All right. Move on to the next. Like I said, let's just put that out there. Uh, I believe this is HL. Nice little half built house. Basically, you put that like any kind of setup, you know, I guess. Although, kind of like maybe it's like a restructuring, maybe, or something. I don't know. Or just weatherize it, made it look like it's something that was being like a project that was like abandoned halfway through or something, maybe. That's cool. That was that building, obviously, is HO. I got a bunch of both N and uh, HO stuff. Let's see here. What's this? All right, right. You gotta be careful with this. One of these has the spring issues. Pick these up for uh, two for ten. A little bit pricey, but nice. Never seen an orange CN box car before. I was like, all right, that caught my eye. So I figured I'd talk him down to it and uh, pick up me a Southern Pacific Hydro Cushion. I gotta fix the spring. Where is it? Yeah, like you can actually see the spring sticking out in there. Yep, that one's got set aside. I don't even have a box for them. Like I said, it is a bit too much, you know, a certain way you can get elsewhere. Especially, you know, like when you do it like a bundle. All right. Oh, I don't want to break that. What is that? Oh, yeah. Here we go. Another uh, Canadian grain hopper. Don't oh, focus. I think I'm gonna start. Uh, I already got like three or four other ones, and uh, basically I'm gonna like. There's like a ton of them. There's even that that like the the old lifesaver one, you know, the rainbow lifesaver one. I remember seeing those. So I'm gonna get a bunch of them, and just have a like a Canadian grainer. There, boy, I should put these over here where like I've had them. I'll focus all that in later. This camera on this phone is all right, but come here, what are you? All right, another Virginian uh, open. Lighting uh, bays. Actually functional, so I actually do loads with it if I wanted. Oh, this in the wheel. And this horn hooks too. I think I got this one for two. And I also got these. HO size. And this one's nice. I like this house. The brickwork. Looks like it'll do really great with the taking in weathering. If I wanted to make that pop out like that. Might want to change the color with though. And then put in weathering in, in the grooves. Maybe, I'm not sure. But I like that house. That was nice. Nice little porch patio set to go with it. And then, oh, come on. Come on, focus, focus. What are you doing? There you go. Nice little great northern ore hopper. 
I sure is by picked up with a handful of other stuff over here. Along with uh this diamond chemicals uh shorty beer tanker car. Which still is repeatable couplers, but that's cool. Along with the BC Rail flat car. Which does need a little bit of work, you know. This dude was like, he wasn't really like budging. He's a new guy too this year. And he was asking a bit much for like the way he wanted. But I was like, eh, I'll work with him. This is cool. Not sure exactly what I'll use as this, but. Looks like it could be like a, like a restaurant, like a family restaurant, like a Pizza Hut or something like that, you know, like an independent one or something, I don't know, a nice little cotton belt, uh, probably used for like cement hoppers or whatever. Alright, I gotta set that aside. That way I know to fix that. Nice heavy metal trucks. And then pick these up from Josh. Of uh, the freight yard and, and Dave's trains and things. Nice old Santa Fe box car. And Norfolk Western box car that I'm gonna probably uh turn it to a converter car or adapter car. Put a horn hook on one end or something like that. A little bit of weathering already working on it, I guess. Needs a little bit more though. Get up back in there. And then ended up with two of these because uh Two of the same number, too. But a dude was like, Hey, you wanna take them both for five? I was like, Screw it. So, two of these. I'll just like change one of the road numbers or something like that. Make them a matching pair. Turn one to his one of the fives into a seven or something like that. I guess. I don't know. Or yeah. a six. Uh, did a lot better this year than, uh, uh, last year, even though there was like, you could tell there was way more vendors last year than there was this year. And it was less crowded in the beginning too, but I actually did way better this time than last year. Alright.
that's pretty much just a scrap tray.